Who is the Lone Ranger Mystery Deputy? Attention! Tonight, by special recording, we are again bringing you the voice of the Lone Ranger Mystery Deputy. Listen carefully. See if you know who the Mystery Deputy is by now. If you do, you may win big cash prizes in Cheerio Sensational Lone Ranger Mystery Deputy Contest. Here is the Mystery Deputy speaking to you now. Listen. I'm a roving, rough, riding representative of the law. I browbeat bandits, scare scoundrels, and vex vipers. All bad men beware. There he is, the first mystery deputy. He is one of America's most famous men. You know his name almost as well as you know your own. Who is he? We'll give you a clue who the Lone Ranger mystery deputy is at the end of tonight's program. Then if you think you know the very famous person whose voice you have just heard... Follow the easy contest rules, which I'll tell you about in a minute, and you may win $4,000 in cash. Yes, if you can identify the Lone Ranger Mystery Deputy and tell us why he deserves this honor, here's your chance to hit Pater to the tune of $4,000 in cold cash. We'll give you a clue at the end of tonight's program and another clue on the Lone Ranger broadcast next Monday. Now, here's how to enter the contest. Listen carefully. Go to the Cheerios display at your grocer's and get a free entry blank for the Lone Ranger Mystery Deputy Contest. On the entry blank will be a space for you to write down the name of the Mystery Deputy and a space for you to tell us why the man you have named deserves the honor of being a Mystery Deputy. Fill out the entry blank or use a sheet of paper. Then print your name and address and send it together with one box top from Cheerios, the delicious ready-to-eat cereal made for oats. Mail to The Lone Ranger, Box 100, Minneapolis, Minnesota. We'll give you that address again in a minute. You must also print on your entry blank the name and address of your grocer. Ask your grocer to help you identify the Lone Ranger mystery deputy and assist you in preparing your entry. If your grocer helps you and you indicate this on your entry blank, he will win a choice of beautiful Bendix front row television set with 10-inch picture screen and push-button tuning, or Bendix console radio if you win first prize, or the famous Bendix luggage-style three-way portable radio if you win a second prize. Now, here's something else. There's not just one winner in this sensational contest, but there will be hundreds of winners. First prize is $1,000. Then there are 10 second prizes of $100 each and 253rd prizes of $10 each. Now, wait. That's only the beginning. Right after this contest is over, we will have another contest with a second mystery deputy. Yes, and after the second contest, we'll have a third and then a fourth. That means a total of over 1,000 prizes in all. Think of that. Four different contests with a new mystery deputy each time. Each contest lasts for nine days, then we judge the winners, and in the meantime, start a new contest. The same big cash prizes are offered in each contest, and you can enter any and all of the four contests as often as you like. Each entry must be accompanied by a Cheerios box top. Yes, and here's the most terrific thing of all. In addition to all the other prizes, a Grand Slam prize of $3,000 in cash goes to the person who has sent in the best entry during all four contests. That means you can win both a $1,000 first prize plus a $3,000 grand prize, a total of $4,000. Now, you'll have to hurry and send in your entries for this first Lone Ranger Mystery Deputy Contest because it closes up tight on June 21st. That's just four days from now. Complete contest rules are printed on the official entry blank, which you get at the Cheerios display at your neighborhood grocers. So I won't repeat them here. But here's what you do. Follow the rules on the entry blank and name the Lone Ranger Mystery Deputy. Then finish this sentence in 25 words or less. This Lone Ranger Mystery Deputy deserves this honor because... Remember, you must send your entry together with a box top from that delicious ready-to-eat cereal, Cheerios, to The Lone Ranger, Box 100, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Now be sure to listen for The Lone Ranger Mystery Deputy Clue at the end of tonight's program. 
Then get an entry blank from your grocer and send in your entry quick. It might mean $4,000 to you. Hurry! Now to continue our story. Tin Cup Smith, the fiddling prospector, had been murdered, and Deuce, his dancing dog, wounded by mine salters, bent on swindling a young couple from the east. Coming upon the dog as they rode down Pearl Creek to investigate the rising water, the Lone Ranger and Tonto found that he had been hit by a charge from a gold-loaded gun. The Indian was saying, No one shoot dog with gold but crazy man. Or a mine salter. Think of that. What do you think happened to Tin Cup? I, I'm afraid he's dead. Maybe Deuce lead us to him. This rising water means what I think it does now. We can spare him the pain of using his crippled leg. Take him on your horse, Tonto. Ah, you do. Now, 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 Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout. As the masked man and Indian rode up out of the creek bed, Stubb and Gila emerged from their cavern hideout a short distance above the landslide which had buried Tin Cup Smith. Stubb leading the way as they pushed through the narrow mouth with bowed backs, suddenly halted. Gila, look down below us. Hey, that creek sure has come up a lot since that blast caved in the bank. It'll flood this place before long. We got all our gear. We can camp somewhere else. Yeah, let's get up the bank. Yeah, you better see if those greenhorns are back. Yeah, there's someone coming up here. He's headed right towards us. I can see him now. Lawyer Dodd. His coattails are flying. Oh, 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 there. Well, we wasn't expecting you, boss. Uh, those clutch won't shine. No other way out here. We could have taken care of them ourselves. This job has got to be done right. Before they left town, Mrs. Clark notified Sheriff Brady that Tin Cup is missing. How do you aim to get rid of those greenhorns? We'll arrange another accident. A landslide? Don't be a fool. We couldn't get away with two of them. I'm thinking about that cave you fellas stayed in. The cave? There's a big boulder close to the mouth. The three of us can pry it loose and push it over far enough to keep anyone inside from getting out. Yeah, but... Well, let me talk. We'll capture the clouts, shut them in there, and let them drown. If they're found, it'll look as though they were hunting tin cup and got trapped when water loosened the rock. (laughs) And they call me here. Traveling up from Windfall along a stretch of creek bed that was now completely dry, Brad Clark and his bride reached the landslide. For a moment, they stared in awe at the vast mass of stones and gravel which covered their camp and prospect holes. Then Martha gasped. Oh, it's Lawyer Dobb. He and those other two men have been hiding and listening. Yes, you're right. Oh, Brad. Don't point those guns at us. We're not armed, and you're frightening my wife. (laughs) Then I apologize. Let's get on with the job, boss. Can't take chances with the sheriff around. What are you going to do to us? Uh, remove you, shall we say. We know you're a cheat, but we haven't any evidence that will put you in jail. You don't have to... You don't have to do anything desperate. I cover my tracks well. There's nothing left to tell why the late Tin Cup Smith departed this world or who hastened his departure. It will be the same in your case. Yeah, now get moving. It'll soon be dark. Where are you taking us? Up beyond the landslide. We'll prepare a place for you there. <laughs> a very snug place. Sheriff Brady had met the Lone Ranger and Toto on the trail. Holding his gun on them, he accused them of killing Tin Cup and ordered them to dismount. Well, how me get off horse with dog in arms? Me not want to drop him. Him wounded. So you, Aubrey, shot him, too. <coughs> I'm down now. I'll take another look at Deuce. Oh, you poor critter. You know me. Many's the time I've patted you. These fellows will pay it. At that instant, the masked man leaped from his saddle, grabbing the lawman's gun arm as he landed. Give me that gun, Sheriff. I don't want to hurt you. Never. I won't. Give me a gun, Pondo. Me got you covered now. All right. All right, take it. Well, that's better. You get it back in good time. Sheriff, there's a mine salting scheme on Pearl Creek. Tin Cup's been killed. 
They won't hesitate to kill that young Eastern couple, too. Great, Scott. How did you know that? I'll tell you as we ride. Back into the saddle. Easy, big fella. Come on, get up there. Night had fallen by the time the crooked lawyer and his two men reached the dark cave where they intended to entomb Brad and Martha. While they were straining to place the big rock in front of the opening, they heard Deuce howling again. Lawyer Dodd sent Stubb and Gila to finish off the dog while he guarded the two Easterners. Meantime, the Lone Ranger and Sheriff Brady had reached the landslide and were crouched among the rocks with Deuce sitting nearby mourning his dead master. Handicapped by the darkness, they had failed to find any trace of the crooks or the Clark couple, except three horses and two burrows. These they had hidden before taking cover themselves. Impatiently, the sheriff asked, What are we doing here, masked man? Deuce has told us what they did to Tin Cup. He's going to bring the killers to us. Well, I don't savvy that. After he escaped the landslide, they tried to shoot him, probably because of his howling. They'll try again. You're using him as bait. He won't get hurt again. <laughs> Here's your gun. You may need well, it. Thanks, mister. Listen, somebody come. It's him, Mila. Oh, but he's here somewhere. This time we're both to give him fuck. There's the pilot. I'm letting him have it. Drop your gun. We got you covered. Oh! I hope the healer and shot. My gun's empty. I'm getting out of here. Oh, no, you're not. No, no, no. Don't let him get hold of me. Talk, you pole cat, or I'll let him at you again. What did you do with Mr. and Mrs. Clark? Our uh, boss, lawyer, Doc. He figured to shut him in a cave down there. Let the creek flood it. If you've hurt them, <laughs> I'll see. What's the Clark? How did you get away from Dodd? When he heard the shooting and yelling, he ran off into the desert. Good. I'll find him. Too late, I hope. Oh, what do you mean? Hanging's too good for that sidewinder, ma'am. A foot without food or water, he'll die a hundred times on the desert. Well, what are you going to do about Tin Cup and Deuce? Well, the old fiddler will have to stay where he is. I don't reckon you can get the dog to leave. Well, I'm going to try. Maybe he won't know my mind, but he can be sure of my love. It won't work, darling. He's Tin Cup's dog. He'll always be listening for something. The old man's footsteps, his fiddle, or his voice... You'll always want to come back here and follow him into the big mystery. If he does, I'll build a shelter for him here and see that he's never hungry. Come here, Deuce. Come here, old fellow. Come on, boy. There. And to think I accused that masked man of stealing him. Sheriff, who is the masked man, anyhow? I got it from the engine. He's the Lone Ranger. We'll rejoin the Lone Ranger in just a moment for a word about his next exciting adventure, Guns for Hire. Here come the clues. The clues to help you figure out who the Lone Ranger mystery deputy is in the first of Cheerio's four big contests. Yes, you've already heard the voice of the Lone Ranger mystery deputy, and now we're going to make it double easy for you to help yourself to these big cash contest prizes by giving you special clues. Are you ready? Listen. He often sings a song called Inka Dinka Doo. He likes to tell jokes and says, I got a million of them. He is the star of his own radio program. You've often heard him say goodnight to a friend of his known as Mrs. Calabash. Who is he? There are your clues. Now, don't wait another minute to enter this big contest if you think you know this very famous person. Here's what to do. Just name the mystery deputy... And tell us in 25 words or less why the man you have named deserves the honor of being a mystery deputy. Follow the easy contest rules printed on entry blank, which you can get from your grocer. Send your entry, together with the top from a box of that swell-tasting breakfast cereal made from oats, all ready to eat, Cheerios. Mail to The Lone Ranger, Box 100, Minneapolis, Minnesota. We'll have new and different clues for you on the next regular Lone Ranger broadcast. Just listen to the clues and you're bound to figure out who the Lone Ranger mystery deputy is. Remember, there are hundreds of prizes in this amazing contest. 
and you have a mighty good chance to win up to $4,000 in cash. Who is the Lone Ranger Mystery Deputy? Now, here's the Lone Ranger. Oh, 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 oh easy now. Hello, the man who murdered Zeb Morse, heading for Dinah Lake's ranch. Unless we get there in time, he'll kill Dinah as he killed Zeb. Hurry, let's go. Uh, be ready. Oh, let's go. Be sure to listen to this next thrill-packed Lone Ranger adventure. It's magic. Well, almost the way you can turn out real Betty Crocker cakes from Cake Mixes. Sure, at last, Betty Crocker recipes measured and blended more scientifically than they could be at home are in bright boxes on your grocer's shelves. Betty Crocker Party Cake Mix gives you the kind of yellow, white, or spice cake you see in magazine pictures. Her Devil's Food Mix helps you treat folks to a moist, rich, dream dessert. And Ginger Cake Mix gives you cake luscious ginger cake. Really special. Remember, these aren't just cake mixes. They're Betty Crocker Cake Mixes. Developed to assure you of larger, lighter, more luscious cakes. Try Betty Crocker Party Cake Mix, Betty Crocker Devil's Food Mix, and Betty Crocker Ginger Cake Mix. You have just heard another of the famous Lone Ranger stories, a copyrighted feature originating in Detroit. This is a feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated, created and produced by George W. Trendle, directed by Charles D. Livingston, and edited by Fran Stryker. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. Lone Ranger is brought to you by General Mills every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at this same time.